makes me look crazy. What's up, people? <laughs> I look like holy hell. Let me just fix my hair real quick. So I haven't done my soapbox, like a real soapbox anyway, in probably like a week and a half, I think. So I figured I'd just hop on here real quick at 11 o'clock at night, get my little soapbox action in, and you know, kind of go from there. What up, Big Rod, Zilla? So anyways, it has been quite an eventful couple of weeks for me, okay? So yes, I went, I had a vacation, had an amazing vacation, mind you, absolutely amazing. And um, it was, it was good, it was good. So I came back, okay? Vacation for my birthday, came back, and then obviously anybody that goes on vacation comes back to holy hell, right? I mean, that's for anybody. Doesn't matter if you're a business owner or not a business owner or whatever. Nicole, oh my God, you're going to be part of my live tonight. Even if you're on here or not, I was going to mention you. Not specifically, but now everybody needs to know I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> Anyways, Davids. So, all right, here's the deal, all right? A couple different things happened this week that's very, very... Thank you for telling me you got home. I really appreciate it because I was scared that you were on the wet roads tonight so thank you i need to make sure you come to work tomorrow because for some very odd reason everybody at work has to be sick <laughs> so um yeah so let's go backwards all right so yesterday i got my news that i have a bladder infection uti whatever same thing and um, yeah, that's always fun to have is a nice, cool little UTI hanging out. And honestly, I've probably had a UTI now for, let's be realistic. I'm going to say I probably had a UTI take maybe about two weeks. And, you know, I always put myself on the back burner and, uh, you know, don't take care of myself, even though I tell everybody else to take care of themselves. So long story short, I put myself on the back burner and now I'm on, you know, medications. I have this serious UTI. It hurts like freaking holy hell. And I am taking care of it. Mm. All right. So that's number one. Roll back a day. Let's roll back. So I have one of my top dogs in the office. Okay. Her name is Megan. Um, and she came into work. It was that this happened. So she comes into work and we're all super, super, super busy. We're doing a hundred things, whatever. And I had John's little cousin with me and she has my nice thing say low connection. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. Anyways. Um, so anyways, I have his little cousin with me and I'm like, oh, you know, she needs to go to the store real quick. And she needs to grab her purse real quick. So I'm like, all right, let's go ahead. We'll do that. I'm like, I have got to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. A lot of you on here know who Megan is, okay? Okay, I love Megan to death. So, this is what happens, is basically, I go into the bathroom. Now, the bathroom that we use is the bathroom that uses, like, you need a key card to get in it, and it's the gym, okay? So, I go in there, and I'm getting ready to go to the bathroom. I got this little nine-year-old girl with me, and I walk in, and I see Megan on the floor, I see one lady in there and she's like hovering over Megan and she's like, I don't know what happened. She just came out of the bathroom and she said she couldn't breathe and fell on that I almost had a heart attack, like literally and like literally like dropped to my knees and I'm like, oh my God. So she's like, I just called 911. They're on their way. This, this and that, yada, yada, yada. So I sat there with her and she was kind of like unconscious and, you know, kind of coming in and out of consciousness. And she was having some sort of like thing was going on, obviously something serious. So um, I sat there, you know, I didn't want to touch her because, you know, if you touch her, you could definitely set some things off. So I just literally grabbed the bottom of her foot. I told her I'm there for her, this kind of thing. Ambulance comes in. This is like a whole kit and caboodle happening at the office at this point. None of the girls at the office not disrupt the day at this point. Like leave all the girls where they're at. Let me handle this. I called John, obviously, and I'm freaking out. Where to God? I'm like, you need to come here right now. Go figure. John is in the bathroom, in the gym, and can hear me screaming from right outside of the gym bathroom. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with her. So, you know, I got her phone. I called her mom, all that stuff. Um, they took her to the hospital. They basically said that they don't know what happened or what happened with her. You know, I don't know if it was stress or maybe it's, you know, has something to do with her heart. Um, you know, cause stress can do a lot to you. You know, it really can. Stress can do a whole lot to you. You, you have no idea. I mean, I, I hold an abundance of stress and let me tell you, it could do a lot of shit to you. So, you know, 
Everybody, um, do me a favor and say a prayer for Megan because, you know, I do love Megan to death and I want to make sure she's okay. But she's at, finally out of the hospital. She went to Tampa General for a little bit and now she's out and she's going to be on bed rest for a little while. So all the girls at the office are kicking it up a notch and, you know, making things happen at the office like we do. That's how we roll. I mean, we're a team. And, I mean, honestly, we've been doing awesome. I'm super, super proud of my girls. Um, I will say, though, you know, when things like this happen... It makes you or forces you to step in sometimes, okay? And maybe step in. I mean, not to say that me and John aren't incredibly involved in our day-to-day -day operations because we are. But sometimes you need to, you know, if you have to step back in all the way back in, some things may come to light, you know? And there's a lot of things that have been put in place and different protocols that have been put in place for Titan to be so successful up to date. And some of those things aren't being followed. And it's it could be down to the tiniest, minute thing of like putting a chart together, making sure the names spelled correctly, date of birth is matching up, the labs are in there correctly, the, the, the names spelled correctly, that we're addressing the correct patients. Like this is all just medical stuff. I've had, you know, quite a few different years under my belt working with an abundance of different doctors. So, I mean... Come on, you know, we, we, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we're, be, we were paying attention to what we're doing. I mean, I think I've talked about this on a live a couple different times about we're us not making pizzas and we're, you know, actually servicing people. So, you know, if you screw up a pizza, you can kind of get a refund and call it a day. Screw up a person might be a bigger deal a little bit. So anyways, stepping back in is always a good feeling. You know, it's always good to be back there with the girls and um, get to talk to the patients a little bit more because I do feel like I don't get to talk to you guys anymore, which I love talking to you guys, right? Um, I, I'm also going to share with you. So so there was that. Then my grandma, she was in the hospital. So I had to take a drive. Like it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Went down to Wesley Chapel. Went to go see her. God forbid something happened, you know. I feel like literally for the past seven or eight days of my life I do I feel like every single day has been something it has been something it, it's just something it could be something okay so I'm going to tell you this mini story because I have to share this story with the world okay so my husband probably thinks I'm crazy he's sitting behind me by the way so here's the story ready so when we open version of the story Yesterday, I was doing some like, you know, I don't know how I was doing this, like this thing where you kind of think back on, you know, times and kind of think about, you know, what you've been through. I don't know why I was thinking about that either. It's just something that was happening. I think it's because we have so many different opportunities that are like in front of us right now that it starts to make you think like where you came from, what you're doing, you know, what, what, what your plans are, you know, that kind of stuff. So I started thinking about some stuff, like some pretty serious stuff, mind you. So again, long story short, I started thinking about, you know, how we started Tight Medical Center. And one of the main things that got us to start Tight Medical Center at that time was I was working for a private doctor um, and I was working for them and it's both doctors. And this was back in 2012, I want to say. Maybe, two, yeah, 2012, John, you want to say? 2012, okay? So in 2012, on a warm, sunny day, you know, I decide to go to lunch break. And knowing me, I gotta go, 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 go. <laughs> what up, CG Melo? Hi, Mama Q. What up, Jess? Hi, Ron. So listen, check this out. So this is how this goes, okay? This is so crazy, okay? And you got, maybe, maybe somebody can give me some insight because... I know that a lot of you guys will see my video, so I'm praying that one of you guys will be able to give me some insight and not tell me I'm absolutely insane. So, basically, what happened with them is I was going on my lunch break, getting my car, you know, I was pulling out of a parking lot and pulling out of the parking space. The guy that was another doctor, same plaza, and they knew who the, this guy was. So, basically, he was in his car. He was on call, so he had his, like, beeper, pager, whatever the hell, on him, and he was in the parking lot and he just wasn't paying attention, looking down, whatever. And boom, gunned it. Okay. So he gunned it. And when I say gunned it, he, he gunned it. <laughs> so he gunned it as I'm pulling out, he gunned it. And it was one of these. Boop. So it wasn't really a fender bender because the um, other half of my Cadillac was on the other side of the parking lot. So it wasn't really a fender bender. Yeah. 
So, yep, half the car is over there. I'm over here. That that went down for sure. So you know, I had a uh, had a partial dislocation in my jaw, and I also had, um, and I couldn't even write with my right hand. But I insisted. I insisted on coming to work. I didn't care because I'm just I'm a soldier like that. I mean, I can literally work under the worst type of settings, and I will still survive because I'm a soldier. That's I'm built to be a soldier. Okay. So, anyways. Um, I was like, listen, I'm ready to come back to work. I want to come back to work. I can't afford to be out of work. Right. And this was like a pretty tough time for me and John and you, you know, we don't ever share these like personal stories with you guys because you know, it's all about positivity, right? So you always want to be super, super positive and tell everybody all the cool, positive things that happen. But in all actuality, life is not always about positive things, right? So, you know, this, this is a hard time for us, to be honest with you. And, you know, it, they wouldn't let me come back to work unless I was 100% cleared. There was no doctor in their right mind that was going to clear me 100%. So, I, in that moment of me sucking it up, um, I happened to be able to hang out with John. And this is kind of when we stumbled across the Titan Medical Center game plan. So, it worked out. Okay, everything happens for a reason, I suppose. Even if you don't understand it at that moment. I do truly believe that everything happens for a reason, even going to go with that. Okay. So obviously it happened for a reason because Titan wouldn't be here today if it didn't. Right. But it was kind of shitty because I had to fight these people for unemployment because I had to get unemployment. I mean, we had like a little baby at home. Okay. Little baby. I have no job. We were counting on my income, our house. I mean, it was not a good situation. It really wasn't. So what are you going to do? I mean, you got to do something, right? And you better figure it out and figure it out real quick. So anyways, we decided to open up Titan at that time, right? I, up to this date, okay, I've always had like this little feeling inside about like, you know, I can't believe these two people that I feel like I busted my ass for just wouldn't let me come back to work, you know? And now that I have a business, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. Well, maybe... They didn't want me to come back to work because maybe I was considered a liability. I don't know. I mean, to this day, I don't know. But I thought it was super, 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 super. <laughs> Last night, we decided to, you know, go meet with Dr. Cruz. I wanted to get some dinner because I was starving. And of course, Eddie V's is my favorite place on the planet. And I have not seen these two people. So we open up Titan, boom, 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 bust our ass, come, 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 go, 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 go. Here we are at Titan now and, you know, hopefully flourishing even more, you know, over the next couple of years, months, days, weeks. We walk in and mind you, I texted the manager because I'm like, hey, I know you guys closed the kitchen at 10. I'm not going to be there until like 10 something I'm like, and I need some food. And so um, he's like, not a problem. I'll make sure it happens and I'll make sure you guys are taken care of. So I get there. And there's literally like five people at the bar, okay? Five. Five people. Yeah. So I just told you how I was having this, uh, you know, time of reflection on what I've been through, how I've been through it, why I've been through it, why did I go through it to get where I'm at today? Would we have tight medical center if they let me come back to work? It's a lot of like ifs, ands, maybe, ah, uh, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of... I don't know is in there, you know, but all I do know is that this is what happened. They didn't let me come back and I thought it was messed up. I mean, I don't think, I think everybody else probably thinks the same, um, but it is what it is and it, it, and it was what it was. So, you know, you just got to deal with it. You got to roll with the punches. That's how it goes. So anyways, you know, we walk in and we're, when we walk in, these two doctors that I have not seen in seven or eight years, they're sitting at the bar and I'm like, Oh, how cool. I haven't seen these two people in eight years. And now they're sitting at the bar across from us. And this is awkward. So anyways, yeah, that was an awkward kind of thing. That was fun. You know, great fun there. Eddie V's just want to eat my food and leave. Um, definitely didn't want to talk about anything, you know, especially when I had to fight with them about my unemployment and did have to win the case on that. So it was, um, it's been a very, like, a very hectic week just between, like, everything, you know, just everything. It's all the good and all the bad because I got a lot of good going on, too. You know, we're 
closing on this building, you know, if all goes right, you know, keep my fingers crossed. I don't ever count my ki my chickens before they hatch, but you know, if everything goes right, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have another building, you know, another space for us to flourish and grow and be able to offer some more services that we don't normally offer right now. That's pretty cool, you know. And there's a lot of things on the well, there's a lot of things on the plate right now that we got. And you know, it's one of those things like you know you don't want to overexert yourself on what you can and can't do and what you have time for and what you don't have time for. But you do really need to make sure that you're allocating the time that you need to allocate. So regardless of the fact, um, I will say that it does feel good to be back in the office, office to make sure that things are running that the way that they need to run. Okay. But it feels good to be back in the office, like, the, all, the whole day, okay? Because I'm not used to that. I'm used to, like, coming in, going out, got to go here, I'm going to this meeting, got to go here, got to go there, got to do this, got to go, got to go. You doing what you're doing? Okay, good, 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 good. I feel as though when I go to work and it's me there to set the precedence for the room and for the day, I genuinely feel that it makes a huge difference in the performance for the day and the attention to detail for the day. And I don't necessarily want to say that it pay, you know, that the girls pay more attention like when I'm around because I'm their boss cuz that I I don't feel that way, okay? Do I feel as though you know that I have expectations that I want to have met and that we're not meeting them? Do I think they might go out of their way to possibly meet them for me? Possibly. Very good possibility actually. And honestly, the girls have been working super, super, super awesome together. And you know, chit-chat's been minimal. The girls have been really good. And, um, you know, I can't get a little extra sleep. You know, I'd love to get rid of this bladder thing I got going on, you know, especially because I let it go for two weeks thinking it was my endometriosis, like a dum-dum. Um, but I probably should have addressed it a week ago when it was really starting to hurt. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I told Dr. Cruz over here, I'm like, man, I'm a soldier. Don't worry about me. I, I got this under control, okay? Got it all under control. So, but yeah, that's been the story for at least 48 to 72 hours. Megan's back at home. She's on bed rest. I'm sure she'll be out of the office for quite some time. So if you happen to call or text the office and you're not getting her, it's because she's sick. You'll probably get me or you'll get Ashley. Or you might even be lucky enough to get John, because John's been there too. So, yeah, we're always there, but not always there, you know? Like, we're there, but, like, we have 100 meetings to go to, you know? It's not easy. It's not easy at all, you know? And then I got Peter. I need to get all his shit together for, you know, school, because school's right around the corner. And I'm like, what? Are, I'm telling you, it's just boom, 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 boom. It's like how I've laid my life out for me. Just boom, boom, hurry, run, hurry, do, 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 do this, hurry, run, run, run. So anyways, um, anybody out there that does or they're looking for jobs, please let me know because I am looking to hire probably somewhere between two and four people. So I want to make sure that we bring on the right people because not everybody survives at Titanland. I'll be totally honest with you. Titanland is not for everybody. For the simple fact of, you know, got to have thick skin, got to be detail oriented, you got to be able to follow up, got to be able to speak clearly and for people to understand you. You, um, you have to have common sense because I can't teach you common sense. Yeah, common sense. Yeah, that's a good one. One of the other things, how to retain those things. I can do that. But common sense, mm, not so much. No common sense, no tight medical for you. Paying attention to detail. I don't know if I can teach you that either. So, if you know somebody, let me know. Let me know. Josh, I will definitely, definitely tell her you're sending prayers for sure. And, um, you know, we'll see how the next the next week goes or so. And I know she's uh, in, in my prayers and in all the girls holding it down. And we're holding it down at the office as best as we can. And I think that they're doing an amazing job. You know, I say there's a little hiccups here and there because it's incredibly important to me that, you know, whenever you're doing things like this, that it's not one of those rush jobs. You know, you can't rush through this. You don't rush through a conversation either. You don't rush through your paper charts, putting them together. 
You don't rush through putting in demographic information. You don't rush, 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 rush. It doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. So I can't, I'll tell you, that's my only, that's been my only thing that I can tell you that I don't like when people rush through their things to get done because it always comes back and it's going to do, it's going to be half ass. It's going to be half ass. And I don't like half ass shit. That's just me though. I personally do not like half ass shit. One other thing I do want to address while I'm on here before I hang up because I am exhausted. Okay. Is, you know, the other day there was a nice little friend of mine, which I appreciate her. I don't even need to say her name. I'm sure she'll be able to figure it out. There was a nice little friend of mine and she wrote like this, you know, real nice thing on her, on our picture, on one of my pages, one of me and John's pages, right? And she, she basically wrote like, I don't care what anybody says. Um, I know that they're real and, you know, they don't fake it. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, fake it. So I'm thinking, I'm like, what is she talking about? Like, do people actually think that we fake it? Like, you mean that we like stage it maybe? Like, okay, babe, you're going to go stand over there and I'm going to stand over here. And then we're going to like set up the camera with like a little thingy majiggy all the way over there. And we're going to have it sit there. I'm going to turn on the lights and then contour the picture and then kiss. And we're going to kiss like we like it. Like we love it. Like, we love each other. <laughs> if you guys think that, you guys are stupid. All right? Seriously. I must call you out now. Anybody out there that thinks that, you are stupid. Do I think there's people out there that do that? I don't know. But if they do, you're wasting your time. And that's stupid. So, it's... I'm lucky. You know, I'm just lucky. I have my guy, okay... My hubby is my soulmate, my best friend, my ride or die. And no matter what, I, I'd be here for him no matter what, no matter what was going on, you know? So I guess where people are saying, you know, like that, it, that it's like staged or fake. One thing, if I don't like you, you are going to know. I promise you, you're going to know. Because I, I don't know how to hold that back. I suck at faking. Big time suck. I suck at faking. What about you, John? You suck at faking? I don't fake like that. See? He doesn't suck. He doesn't suck at faking either. I ain't sucking anything. He's not sucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, guys. I mean, come on. It's been 11 years. I mean, what? We're going on 12 if you have to fake it for that long, I mean, wouldn't you get tired of faking it? You couldn't. Spend too much time with me. You know, like, I don't get it. You know, it's... And guess what? Hell yeah! I like putting up my pictures with him. Yeah! I love putting up my pictures. Not because I'm like, oh, look at me. Look at him. Oh, my God. It's not about that. It's literally just sharing the moment. It is, like, sharing the moment. Or maybe I... Maybe, maybe I just like the way that I looked in that picture. And I'm like, oh, cool. Let me post it. You know, or maybe I was like, damn, boo, your, 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 your biceps are like popping there. Bies are popping. Tries are popping. Delts are popping. And I'm like, oh, th this photo is definitely going to go up. So, I mean, we don't even think about it usually whenever we do photos. It's not something we usually do. So, um, yeah, don't, uh. Don't think too hard about it because, yeah, me and John are definitely best friends and we definitely love each other. And yes, we have a 10 year old son. And yes, we work together every day, all day long. But, um, the worst, I think the worst of all of it might be a bicker here or there. It's nothing ever crazy. So I can, uh, thank him for that because. He's the nice, cool, calm, collective one. Um, I, will, I will leave you with the one thing I do want to leave everybody here with today. In your lives, okay, if you guys come across, and this is just so incredibly off top, four days, but like I don't even know how to piece together this soapbox, but just like throw it out there. Be like, all right, whatever. This is like totally all over the place, but I guess I'll just throw it out there and we'll see what they get out of it. 
Um, and plus, I'm like exhausted in case you can't see for yourself with my eyes going for here. Um, oh, hi, sissy. How are you? So I just want to make sure that everybody understands out there. Um, there is a very, 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 very big. What's the word that I'm looking for? Like a big community? There's a big community, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. There's a big community, like a big support community out there, people that are depressed, okay, or people that are down. And, you know, I personally have dealt with some people that were very important to me in my life that were depressed and down. Now, this is a very soft topic for me. So, you know, I don't, I don't talk about it very often. Um, I, one day I might come out and tell you exactly what took place. Today's not that day, but, um, you know, I think that, I think that when people are in that position, that it doesn't need to be taken lightly because I feel as though they could be a ticking time bomb and you just don't know because these are the people that are not sharing their feelings with you, you know? So it's hard to try to differentiate as to who really needs you, who really doesn't need you, you know, what do they need? How can we help them? And you know, it's hard if you have somebody in your life that you care and you love about, or you love, you know, it's hard to get them to help themselves if they don't truly want to help themselves. So I've been down this road quite a few different times and it's heartbreaking, okay? So, if you have somebody in your life that has battled depression or even anxiety or anything else that falls in that category, okay, anybody like that, you need to take it seriously, okay? It's not a joke. People do react. People do do things that they don't think before they do. And, you know, you really should. You should definitely make sure that you're there for whoever it is that needs you, okay? So it's a serious topic. I think it's worth talking about and, you know, bringing it up in my soapbox, my uh, ever so crazy soapbox. But um, it's important, you know, I think it's super important to make sure you don't, you know, overlook some of these things. If you start seeing signs like that and you, you, you know you see signs like that, take action. Take action to help that person if you really, truly help, like love them and you want to help them. And most of the time when you are that person that truly loves them and the person that, then there's nothing else in it for you except for you to help them. It's not like you're going to get anything directly back from this except maybe to get you to keep your friend, maybe get to keep your dad, get to keep your mom, get to keep your aunt, your cousin, whatever, okay? Husband boyfriend. So maybe there is something in for you at the end, but I really think just do the best you can and be a good listener. Try to be there for them. And you know, there's really nothing you can do, you know, nothing you can do for somebody that doesn't want to help themselves get better. So, you know, it hurts sometimes when that happens because you have to sit, your hands are tied at that point and you have to sit back and watch this go down and there's nothing you can do about it except for sitting back and just watching it go down so you know that's what a good friend does though a good friend is going to tell you what the deal is and what's going on you know and i i think that anybody outside of that bracket if you really were having something going on in your life that's related to depression anxiety you know if you were going out drinking or going out doing drugs or whatever it is and you don't have a, a friend in your life that would come to you and tell you, hey, you know what? I don't think this is the right move for you. And this is why. Like, let me take you somewhere else. Or, you know, I don't think this is a good thing for you to do tonight. Let me, let me, let me take you and go do something else. Let's go see a movie. You know, just totally take the mind off of it. You know, you can, it's doable. It's doable. You might have to drag them by their hair, but it's doable. Okay, so I did want to throw that out there. Maybe one day I might get the guts to share with you guys some of the uh, crazy things I've been through where it comes to, you know, battling depression and stuff like that. Me personally, I've done very well with depression in my life and I've been able to handle things pretty well considering, you know, 
depression's never really been my, my, my issue. I think my issue is more of like, you know, my aggressive side and keeping it under control, making sure that I, you know, take a, take action only on things that I need to take action on and leave the rest in the river. So, you know, John has taught me well. Self-control. Fun. Creating a stress reliever of some sort. Working out. I wonder what other stress relievers there are besides working. You can sing. You can go sing outside. Some people like that. I'm singing in the rain. Go punch a punching bag. I'm singing in the rain. You know, I feel so much better now. See, See how fast and easy that was? No. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. Take it serious. And, uh, you know. Mental health. Mental Health Awareness Month. It's was that last month? I don't know. Mental don't know Health Awareness is. Month should be every month. It should every be every month, month. yeah. Stop I, copying me. Uh, you just told me you just trying to take what I said. Copycat over here. Just trying to take what I said. Mm -hmm. So anyways, it's important, guys. You know, hate to put a downer at the back end of my soapbox, but honestly, it's, um, it's really important. I'm obviously bringing it up for a reason, you know. So I, I want to make sure that people out there know, like, if you have a friend and they are in a position where they need help, don't hold your friend's hand to walk them into the hole of fire. Okay? Leave the fire pit alone. Okay? I'm sure you can hold their hand and walk them over in a different direction that would probably help them. Okay? So... I think it's very important. Very, very, very important. Oh my God, I miss you so, so much. One of my favorite people is on here. Bubble bath, laying in the sun, writing out things that you have in your life and what you're thankful for. I most certainly do think that's a good idea, Sheree. And Sheree, I am sending you my uttermost prayers from the deepest, deepest, deepest part of my heart. And my heart flows deep. It's deep in there. It's deep in there. So you want to say hi? Hey, Cherie. We love you. We miss you guys. We hope all is well. I hope, I, I hope everything goes good. Seriously. I hope you feel better. You're going to be fine. Promise. You know my number. And not many people do. So don't hesitate to call. Um, but yes, I am definitely, definitely going to get some rest See if I can rest my bladder a little bit. 90 Day Fiance, you know, version number 25. It's great. great. Because it's like all real life stuff. And it's like real because it's not staged. And even if they try to stage it, I think there's just so many different variables that go into place that you can't lock down that just makes it really funny, you know? So... <laughs> For real, they can't stage it. They just can't. Not even if they tried. They couldn't stage it if they tried. Oh, are you watching it? Late to the party. <sighs> yes, I'm about to. I'm about to turn this thing off and go watch some 90 Day because there's like five different versions of it. You know, you got your 90 Day, then before the 90 Days, and then the people that were on 90 Day, and this is the happily ever after 90 Day. So, yeah, this is interesting. I, I would love, okay? So let me just put this out here. Have a good night, too. I love you so bad. Um, text me. So anyways, I mean, you got to remember, guys, I live a crazy-ass, hectic life. So... It is a pleasure for me to sit back and watch somebody else's life that's not mine be a little crazy. I don't think that's crazy, right? It's crazy, right? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I'm definitely losing it. This is why I haven't done my soapbox. It's because my hair and my, my face has all been hit and I'm just, I, my brain cells are on fire. Literally every day last week. I was up super, super, super late. Super late. So I'm over it. But I did want to come up here and give you guys a little rundown of what's taken place in the past couple weeks and what's gone, or actually past couple days, what's been going on. You know, obviously I'm back in the office. Please don't call there and ask for me. I'm probably not going to be able to talk to you. 
<laughs> so please don't call there and ask for me. Text me all day. I promise I'll hit you back. Um, but also, I do want to leave the video with this one thing. Josh, real quick, I need a call to find out exactly how much other type of pants. Josh, my God, I thought the girls have been doing this for you. What's going on here? What is going on? What up, Jenny? So anyways, guys, just saying, got to make sure. <laughs> got to make sure of it, though. It's fun. Josh, not a problem. I'll have one of the girls give you a call. I thought they sent that to you, but just inbox me and I'll help you. I don't, I, d I definitely don't mind helping, but yeah, got to make sure you're taking care of yourselves, guys. Can't be running around with a UTI for two weeks and not do anything about it just because you're busy. That's stupid. Um, but I am going to leave you guys with this, this one last thing. So, you know, I do do these soap boxes and, you know, for the most part, I don't ever usually get people to write stupid shit on here, you know, like stupid shit. I mean... For instance, like on my last soapbox, it's not like I'm sitting here either with like my bathing suit top on and my hair is all in pigtails and I'm like, what's up guys? My name is Cherise. No, you don't see that. Okay. I'm conservative and I'm very real. So anyways, you have a guy that hops on there. I should, I, I almost should post this picture on this thread so everybody and their mother can see it, but that's super unprofessional. But I mean, eh, I'll debate that. I'll debate that one. So anyways. Please, and this goes just not for my videos. It really goes across the board for anybody's videos. Please don't go on there and write stupid shit. I mean, you could write like your stupid opinion and it probably will remain there. I don't care. I really could care less about an opinion. We all know what an opinion is, right? Do you guys know what the saying is? Of the opinion? Now everybody has one, but they're all full of... Exactly. So anyways... Everybody has an opinion. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But do not come up on my live or my already done live and start disrespecting me, my husband, me or my husband or me. Because it's stupid. It's not smart. You know, you got some guy last time I did a soapbox. This guy is a brandly, like a brandedly new chiropractic Indian guy that's local, right? Dummy. He's got a wife and a new baby girl, okay? And he writes on there, like, I'm not even going to repeat it because it's just so stupid, but he writes on there, like, like let me see him, that, 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 something, whatever. And, like, you know, I'm not very nice to people like that, and I do that on purpose because I really want you to understand like, I'm not that girl to write the stupid shit to because I will be the first person before my husband even blinks an eye to tell you where you need to go. And then I just might tell your wife where she needs to go and maybe even share it with your mama. So, or maybe even share it with your practice or, you know, your practice partners or maybe your patients. You know what I'm saying? So that's not good. Not smart. Don't do it. It's very disrespectful. It's very unprofessional and it gives me a reason to come find you and beat your ass. Okay. So I don't want to do that either. Cause then I got to get in trouble and then John's going to be mad at me. It's just, it's all downhill from there. Okay. So don't push me in that direction. Don't want to go there. Okay guys, don't push me there, but be respectful. Don't say dumb shit or I will have to do my research and investigate you and your family and send your family all the wonderful things you thought was very, very nice of you to leave on my thread or in my inbox. Now, I don't get many of these, so I don't want to make it sound like, oh my gosh, I'm, what is this girl getting? I don't get many, and I think I don't get many for the simple fact that I don't come across like that. Or they know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows, somebody that knows, somebody that knows me and knows that I don't play that shit. So, that's how I'm going to leave this. So, I'm going to pray that I'm going to wake up in the morning and there'll be nothing mean on here. Or disrespectful. Yay! So, anyways, guys, I hope everybody has a really good night. And I need to go get some sleep because I'm going to have a hell of a day tomorrow. I have to go into work tomorrow. And I have got to get on these girls' asses. So, I'm going to have to get on their ass because there's some things we still got to tighten up, man. 
you know, every once in a while, you got to go back there and you got to say, hey, listen, we got to tighten the screws. We got one here, one here, one here, one here, one there, one there. This is what we got to do. Let's make it happen, ladies. So it's been like military boot camp up in there at Tight Medical Center. That's what you got to do, though. You got to make sure we're successful, make sure our people are taken care of, because without our people and without our patients and without your support and your love, we would not be here today. So I left it on a positive note, made sure I didn't leave it on your little eh note. So anyways, excuse my face. It is disgusting. And my hair that has not been washed in three days. Beth, I need your help. And uh, everybody say bye to John. Bye. While well, I'm still feeling it inside my soul. I might, I got, I think, I feel like I have to like, you know, maybe go through it a little bit and see what I can and can't say. Um, just for the simple facts of, you know, maybe putting too much information out there. But I really think that it's, you know, it'd be a good thing to share with you guys. You know, some of the trials and tribulations that John and I have. So, should be interesting. So anyways, I am going to finish my cranberry juice with a straw. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm tired. And then um, Tunisia, love you too. I'm definitely going to get some sleep. I'm about to pass out right now. And then I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Jose Santiago, mwah, give my girlfriend some kisses. And um, let me know if you guys need anything seriously from the office. Please don't text my personal line because you guys will drive me nuts. But please text the out there that does see this video. Be nice to my girls when they text you. Okay? Don't be writing back all kinds of crazy things. Because I see everything. Everything. Bing, 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 bing. So, yes, I see it all. Mm-hmm. And a wonderful week. And I'm sure that I'll hop on here. I'll try on, like, Friday or something. I've just been so bogged down with work, my shit together, and make sure that we grab all the opportunities that are ahead of us while we can, because, you know, opportunities don't always come and knocking. So, got to take full advantage of it. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a good night, and I will talk to you guys soon.